you guys remember we worked on the sky last time so what we're gonna do we're gonna add some ground here uh, but this is going to be very dark okay so it's gonna be very dark so we'll it'll be mostly black and green and maybe some brown in it um, and then we'll we'll just put some trees and then we'll just shade the tree trunks and see how how they're gonna end up okay so I am going to take a flat brush like this okay um, and I took some green some brown and some black on my palette and I'm gonna start painting the bottom part right here okay so I'm just picking up some brown first and some black with it So just black and brown. I'm putting a very thin layer. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to go right here. I'm not going to worry about this line too much to make it perfect because I'm going to go over it later on with some shrubs. Okay, so I'm going to put in my tree trunks. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use, um, I'm just wetting my brush to make sure. I know I changed the setting a little bit so I might be getting out of the camera more now. But, so I'm going to take a little bit of brown to, at this point, just... Put the shapes of the tree trunks in okay and then we're gonna work on them later on to make them a little bit more defined so i'm going to put one big one here and then another big one right here uh there's going to be a couple in here and then small ones okay so maybe i should just move on the other side hold on okay that's better so I'm going to put one in here that's going to start from, it could be from here and we're just going to kind of roughly put it in, okay? You don't have to be perfect at this point and you have to kind of, you see how I'm trying that my brush doesn't go too straight, okay? So we have one, now we're going to put another one right here and it's going to be a little bit tilted and it's going to be thicker on the bottom okay so let's assume that this one is out of the painting starting out of the painting okay I'm not worrying about too much right now. I'm just putting them in. Okay, let's put one right here. Okay, roughly. Maybe using my brush. Let's take this one out too. Maybe 
maybe a branch is coming out doesn't have to be perfect okay let's make a small one okay so this one Okay, another tree trunk and maybe a small one going back all right so I put my trees in okay so I'm just filling it in for now So we have the basic shapes of our trees in right now. Now we're going to start working on putting um, highlights and some shadows on it. Okay, so that will make the trees a bit more interesting for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take more black and I'm going to take a little bit of white with it. So we can make, make some grays and we can make some whites and I'm going to also take some yellow for the highlights. So highlights will be white and yellow um, and the shadows are going to be black and then they will transition from black to brown. Okay, so let me just get some more paints on my palette and then we'll continue. All right, so see my palette. I have some green, some white, some yellow, brown, and black. I'm not going to use the green right now on the trees. I'm just going to use the these, these four colors. Okay? So, let's start with black. I switched to a smaller round brush. And I'm just going to... Let's say that the light is hitting from this side. So I'm going to be putting in the shadows on these sides. So let's start with this one. So I'm just following the shape of the tree and making it black. Now make sure that you don't make the trees too straight because there are some kind of there are some trees that are actually straight but there are mostly the trees the trunk is not like really straight it will have some bumps along the way or and it will like kind of move on the side um so that's what i'm going to follow but don't make the bumps too big okay we don't want the tree to coming down and then going like like a really big bump um yes it could happen in reality but it might not look good in this painting so okay it's just black another one So I'm just staying on one side of the tree, okay? Make this black. Same thing here. Even if it's really small, I'm still going to put it in. Okay. Let me know if I come in front of the painting and you can see.
Okay. So we made one side of the trees black and now I'm going to take my black and I'm going to take a little bit of brown and mix these two together. Okay. So I have a dark brown. And I'm going to be staying very close to the black, okay? So I'm not going close to that side. I'm just going close to the right and the middle, okay? And if you see some brush strokes that mixed in with other paint, that's good because it will give it more texture to the tree. Right now, we're just giving it the base color and then we can add some more texture on top. Okay. I'm going to take the brown and white, teeny bit white, okay, not too much. Make it light brown. Radita says, okay. And I'm gonna go on this side. Lemra Sahir says, amazing tree trunks became prominent now. Thanks. Sana. Okay, so you see on this side it's lighter, so it's it's lighter and then it gets a little bit darker and then it gets really dark on the other side, okay? Again, now we're not going to make all the tree trunks the same. You see I'm going a little bit on top of that brown and kind of mixing it in. On the bottom, I'm going to make it a little bit more dark because not a lot of light is hitting. Oops, too much black. Not a lot of light is hitting on the bottom. So it could be very dark in here, but then it goes up. It gets lighter on that side. Let's make it a little bit lighter so all of them don't look exactly the same. Add a little bit of brown to it. Again, the bottom, I'm gonna make it dark. brown That's the beauty of organic material that you want them to be random. You don't want them to be all the same.
Okay. So now okay. Uh, our tree trunks are pretty um, visible. Now I'm going to switch from my brush to my palette knife. Okay. So I'm going to be using this palette knife. I will use this, this straight side of the knife. Okay. And I'm going to pick up some of this paint with some white so some light brown and some white like that okay let's start adding it can you see like I can I'm just putting it on the edge and dragging it in okay wipe it off Okay, wipe it off, pick up some of that black on the other side, bring that in. Okay, clean it up, the dark, picking up my black. I'm gonna continue what I'm doing I'm just holding the knife like this putting it on the edge just the edge not the straight okay just the edge touching the edge and just kind of scraping it off a little bit okay let's do it again now I don't want to do this everywhere okay maybe a little bit take it off some of it off so I have just very little paint on my palette knife in the middle maybe here just touching it like that and I'm gonna add some yellow to it okay we keep going back get rid of some white from it and just keep black on it on my knife maybe I want to put it a little bit of yellow in here too so you guys can see the difference between these and these we could have stopped here with our brush but using a palette knife makes a huge difference um, to put in the texture and how the tree trunk looks okay let's continue on the other tree trunk Darium says can I do it with a brush also if I don't have this type of knife um yes you can do it with a brush as well you know what let me show you with the brush as well so um, for for this not this one because this is going to be my uh, biggest one so i'm gonna do it on this one with the brush just to show you how you can do this with the brush as well so let's continue this with the palette knife and then i'm gonna switch to my brush okay okay so again i'm picking up some white see how much i've picked up on the palette knife and just gonna go on the side of the tree trunk and just kind of scrape it you want it to be more on some places and less on the other the first time you do it it's not going to be perfect just keep trying and it'll be fine okay so we have our white in there now we're going to take some of that brown and light brown make light brown with it i might need to pick up a little more brown but that's okay
Okay. I'm gonna wipe my palette knife. Okay, so I picked up some brown and black like this. So you can see there's some brown and some black on the knife. I'm gonna start on this side and bring that in. Okay. Every time I touch the white, I pick them pick up some white and that adds some of that texture on the other side too. So it's okay if it picks up a little bit of white. See when I do this and I go on the white, it picks up some of that white. Which is fine. Make sure you're not doing it all the way the same. Like you just start here and this goes the straight way. Don't make sure that you're not doing that all the same way. You're just switching here and there. How in those those whites can go okay somewhere it will go more somewhere it will be less okay now I'm gonna take some black and some brown and then just go on the side okay because it's close to the bottom we don't want it to be too much too white now picking up a little bit of yellow I'm just adding it here not everywhere just kind of give it that like I'm gonna add some yellows in here you can always go back and change the things how you see them fit now I want this part to be a bit more dark Okay, so I promise I will show you with the brush. So let's do it with the brush. So for this purpose, I am taking a straight brush, a small one, and I didn't wet it. Okay, it's still dry. So I'm going to pick up the white on it like this. Okay, and very light hands okay you don't want to press too hard when you're doing it with a palette knife you want to press it but when you're doing it with the brush I don't want to press it okay so I'm just gonna go very light handed so you see I'm not putting it everywhere Right. Now I'm going to pick up my yellow. Okay, make sure you're not putting it everywhere. Okay, I'm going to take some of that brown. Okay, and I'm going to go here because I don't want too much white. Kind of mix it up a little bit. So sometimes I go all the way to the other side and sometimes I just stop. Now guys, if the palette is nice up available close to you and if you are really interested in painting, learning to paint, then invest in a couple of palette knives because they make a huge difference. So I'm going to pick up some of that black and some dark brown and I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, so you see, you can use a brush to do it too. Um, it is, it's not as vibrant as it would be with a palette knife but it will still work okay so switching back to my palette knife I'm just gonna continue putting it on 
And let me know if you guys have any questions in the meantime. So same thing, these I'm not putting in too many highlights. Okay, so this tree is going to be my focal point. I don't want all of the trees to look exactly the same. Okay, so uh, this one has this one has more texture than this one, and then these are going to be um, the least of the texture. Okay, this one is going to be the darkest one because we're thinking that this one is going to be in the back. Okay, I just ran out of my black, but okay, I have some in here. So I'm not going to put in too much highlights on this one, just here and there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to uh, add some shrubs here and there. We're not, we're not gonna put in too much, but we'll just put in some of them, okay? So for that purpose, you want to get a brush that's uh, that could be rough in the edges, like uh, and that could be rough like this. See how this one is very rough? So I'm going to Take my brush. This is brush is not wet right now. You can make it wet too. I think I'm gonna make it wet a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit my brush on my palette like this. Hit it hard, okay? So what it does is it opens it up a little bit like that. You see? Okay. So now when I opened it up, I'm going to pick up some of this green that I made with some black, brown, and yellow. Okay. And maybe some black too. Very hard. Like this. And I'm going to, on the bottom of this tree, I'm just going to go like this. Okay. And keep twisting your brush in there. Now we wanna, don't wanna see that, that line in here, so we're gonna cover it up with some of these going up there. Okay. Again. Pick up a little bit of black again. Every time you pick it up, you want to make sure you do this, otherwise, your brush could get you know, um, it, what is it called? They come together. It we want them to be separate, these bristles, we want them to be separate. So, it's so it's okay to go on top of some of the trees, too. Now you can do this step before you put on the tree or after it's up to you all right so there we go i hope you guys learned something new uh we're gonna bring it a bit closer so you can see oh color says love the final look okay awesome